Hey guys, Amazing Libertarian here. Uh, I just watched Super Atheist Brothers uh, video uh, entitled, If We're All Going to Heaven, Then What's the Point? And basically he asks uh, me and other Christians that may have the same beliefs as me, um, basically, if I believe that there is no hell, that we're, no one goes to hell. So he asks me, then are we all going to heaven? And my answer to that is, yes, that is what I think. I think that everyone does go to heaven. And I can go more in depth than that in other videos. But to summarize what I would basically, the argument for that would be, is that a just God would want um, some sort of perfect life for human beings. And since we're not experiencing that, obviously, on Earth, I think that will happen in the form of heaven. Um, but then he asks, so what's the point? If we all go to heaven, why should we be Christian besides evidence? Um, and to that, I, I agree with him. There is no reason to be a Christian unless you see the evidence pointing towards Christianity. I don't think Christians have better morals than atheists. And I don't think um, atheists have better morals than Christians. I don't think religion makes you any more of a moral person. I think religion can make you more of an immoral person in some instances and can make you a more moral person in others. So I don't really think religion has a huge effect on morality in people. I don't see atheists as immoral and Christians as moral because there are going to be moral atheists and moral Christians and immoral atheists and immoral Christians. You, you can't um, take one group and categorize it as moral or immoral um, just because of their belief or lack of a belief. So, yeah, I agree with you. There really isn't a reason to be a Christian unless you see the evidence um, as enough to be a Christian. I, there really isn't a point to it. Um, there might be a point if, let's say, um, my example for me would be my motivation to be a Christian may be because the majority of the people I know are Christians and I would be rejected by all those people if I wasn't a Christian. Now that doesn't justify my beliefs but it's definitely a motivation to defend my beliefs. And if I didn't have that sort of influence, I may not be so uh, quick to defend my beliefs. So that would be a motivation for me, but of course that's not going to be a motivation for everybody. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any true motivation to be a Christian or to be a part of any religion, except based on evidence. Because I don't see any sort of benefits of religion. I just kind of see it as any other sort of fact that, or any other sort of, of um, belief. It's like, th there's no motivation for me to do this except if there's evidence for it, you know? I'm not going to accept that, let's say, there's gravity unless there's evidence for it because there's gravity, you know? That, that doesn't, it doesn't give me any sort of benefit to accept it, and so if there's no evidence for it, I won't, but there is, so I do. Um... So yeah, I think basically beliefs should be believed based on evidence and not on any other sort of motivation, because I agree, there really isn't any other sort of motivation for religion. Um, so that's my short response to Super Atheist Brothers. Um, sorry, it's a little bit late. I've been on vacation, um, so I just watched your video today. But this is my video response, and if you want to follow up, uh, that'd be great. So comment, rate, uh, subscribe. And I will make more videos soon. See you guys.